Hi, everybody. How are we doing? Oh my goodness, I forgot water again, so I had to go fill it up. Sorry to keep you waiting. How is everybody doing? Oh, I'm so glad I did that. Hi, oh, we already got some chats in the room or whatever. So, um, yeah, so today we're gonna be playing The Sims 3, just like usual. We're gonna continue the 100 baby challenge. I think Amber Lynn is like, she's done her mourning period or whatever so she's gonna get pregnant very quickly we'll either do like a pregnancy right away or we'll do like some family together time i think we have to finish teaching someone to drive i don't think we finished that hi jonathan how are you you are first welcome happy tuesday hope everyone is having a great day so far i'm having a great day for a tuesday the week has so far gone pretty fast, so like tomorrow's the halfway point, and I already feel pretty good about it. And I have like lots of work to do in the morning, which for me is a good thing. Like the more work I'm assigned, the better, because I can only go so fast anyway. But like then I always have something to do, and then I'm just always occupied. Or else I end up on the Sims Discord or something, and I start stirring the pot. I might have done that a little recently. Hi, Septim. How are you? Hi, Panda. Girls! All the girls are here. Cats and Witchcraft says, sup. Maloney, too. Hi, Reckon Company. How are you all doing? I can't wait to see how everyone else is doing. Just chilling. Yeah, absolutely. Hi, Hi Ranika. Ranika. Excited for the stream? Good. Me, too. Hi, CJ. I'm keeping an eye on the moderator color this time. Patiently waiting, honestly. I'll do like the Madonna thing where I'll just be three hours late and then blame all of you. Ariana says hi to CJ. <laughs> Hello everyone. Hi Natalie. Good to see you. Maloney asked how CJ is feeling. I saw CJ's stream yesterday and he was coughing a little bit, but he seemed in good spirits. You know, better than last week. We can definitely say that. So I'll let... I'll let CJ speak. I'll, I'll allow CJ to speak for himself, actually. My second time catching a stream. Hi, Sims 3 girly. Just in time to do my post-work chores. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so I always do my dishes when I first get home. Move my camera. So, I, so like, my kitchen is right there. So, and even though you can't really see it, you can see it. So, like, when I get home from work, I just do all the dishes. Sometimes I do them before I go to work, but I just like to make sure that they're done before I get started. And then I make my thumbnail, and then I think of the title, and then I fill my water, and then we start, because I start, I always, I always like to do the stream an hour after I leave work, so that way there's just, there's no downtime between, for me, like, once I'm done for the day, I'm done for the day, so, like, I couldn't stream later, it wouldn't work for me, then I would just be canceling them, citing personal issues, which is really just my laziness. Because if I just did it earlier, it would be easier. I just, I find it's easier to get things done. Then I don't have to worry about it later. I'm glad you got your water, thank you. Family together time first, I think. Yeah, cause like we're actually attached to some of these Sims. Uh, we've got, Cemetery is gonna be an elder soon. And I know people mention the life elixir and stuff, but like I said, like every time I've prolonged a Sims life, I wish I didn't, it's kind of like, so I always had this motto in my 20s, leave the party while it's still fun. And like, if you do that, then you have nothing but happy memories. Then it's not one in the morning and you've had too much to drink and like the music's going and you don't feel so good. You know what I mean? Like go, like leave when you're having a blast. That's just, that's just how I do it. I hope Amber Lynn gives birth today because I have come up with this with such a good name. Okay, well, I like I I definitely plan on a pregnancy, and since I shortened the pregnancy duration a bit with Enros, it shouldn't be a problem. Yes, I made it. Hi Maya, how are you? I see Kyle zooming yet. Kyle, come on. Come on. He's doing something. I can hear him doing something. It's going crazy is what he's doing. Stinky Jalopy. That would be a good name. I think we've had Stinky on a wheel before. But as long as we haven't, like, you can request the same name over and over again until we hit it on the wheel. Like, it's not like, okay, well, we're like, we'll never use these these names again. We just end up in like little themes. Oh, 
watching as I finish edits on my measles webinar PowerPoint. I'm sure that's a delight to have to do in 2024. My God. We had like 10 or 12 cases of measles and I was just like, I'm not interested in any of this. It should never have happened. At least you can hear Kyle still. It, it's when your cat gets super quiet that it's suspect. Everything bad that he does is noisy, like clawing at something, licking something. Sometimes he'll just lick the bottom of his food bowl as if, as if I've never fed him before. Junky jalopy, I like that too. Hi, Mia, how are you? Good to see you again. Oh, don't worry. I put a slide about all the outbreaks in 2024. <laughs> well done. Congratulations. Procreation elixirs work. I get quads every time. I don't need the... I do not need a procreation elixir. Not with these matriarchs. My goodness. We had more quads last generation. Actually, I don't think we had any quads this generation, but we usually get triplets. Usually get triplets, which I think is enough. I think we've struggled enough. We had a baby die... So I don't know if quads is the, is, is, is the right answer, but we'll see. Okay. I'm going to try and get everything set up. Oh, I didn't even open like the EA app or anything. So I guess we'll have to see how this goes. Okay. It crashed and then reloaded itself. So that's actually pretty normal for the EA app. So, so far so good. It's like, would you like to download The Sims 4? I'm like, no, I have no, I have no need for that. What would I do? It would just sit on my hard drive and then keep trying to update itself and break. Boba says, yay, I finally caught a stream. I'm, I'm very scheduled with the stream. So if this is a time that you can make it, I should be live most Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern. If you eat watermelon, you will have a girl and apple for a boy listening to kids music. Yes. Yes. So I know about like the kids, the kids music and the kids TV thing. When I was like younger and like playing The Sims 2 when that when that was the new Sims game, Kyle's screaming. Um, when I was a teenager, I would um, I found out about the cheesecake thing for twins. So I would always eat cheesecake. So like if I ever had someone who wanted to have babies, which was pretty much all my Sims 2 Sims, then I would always prioritize getting their cooking up so they could make the cheesecake. And then they would have have twins and twins and twins. And then she'd be able to cook for everybody when they got older. Not that any of them ate it. It's like all my all my save files they all end up eating birthday cake because there's just so many kids, so many birthdays. It's always happening. Kyle's going to sit with his back towards us now. Okay, so the game opened. So let's see. I can do this. I believe in me. Bam. Look at that. Okay. So the game is opened. Wow. We have so many save files. I think a cotton sock was giving me a hard time. So I should clean all this up. What? Okay. So like the most recent computer investment that I made was, um, an SSD, so like, so like a hard drive, right? So my stuff's been loading faster. I have tons more storage space. I've got my old hard drive to store stuff on. So like, I've gotten a lot less anal with like cleaning up my computer files. So maybe I'll do that this weekend. Okay, let's see if the save file opens. Ew, Sims 4 ad, Sims 4 bad. Ew, oh no. If you got the Sims 4 ad from YouTube, that means EA had to give it the money to me. So I got the half a penny. So take that EA, cause they're not gonna buy it. Oh, it feels so good. Like any amount of money, to be made from EA just feels so good.
Melody, I'm so sorry. I, I, this is a very traumatic event. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you had to go through this. Okay, I'm gonna like pause the game, let it load everything. Okay. They probably have plenty to spare, so I hope to give you a lot, honestly. I would just, like, I would be more than happy if I could just refund The Sims 4. Like, if I could just give The Sims 4 back and I could get even half of the money that I actually spent on it. Like, I didn't get all the packs full price or anything. I was never that into The Sims 4. So, like, I would just wait for sales. And then, like, when the pandemic happened, I scooped up a bunch of packs and stuff. So, I didn't pay full price for a lot of it. But, like, I'll just take the, like, the whatever hundreds of dollars it was. We can donate it to charity, like Paralives, or a marginalized population, like console players or something. Something on theme. Same, I want to give Sims 4 back to because I bought the base game the day it was released. Ew, I did not buy it when it was released. I got it, like, I think I got the base game twice. Like, I had an old e EA account from, like, when I was younger, and then, like, this is, like, an entirely new one since maybe, like, 2019, 2020. And I was more than happy to like rebuy The Sims 3. Like I just waited for sales, got them for like 10 bucks a pack, 10 bucks a world kind of thing. Cause I'm like, I will use this. I will play this forever. Okay, I think we're ready to get started. So you are very hungry. So you get up. Oh, it's 8.20 in the morning and they're all in a good mood. I'm so glad I did this for myself. Sometimes I don't, I don't do it too well. Okay, Harley is floating around as usual. Okay, cemetery. Yeah, everyone's gonna eat birthday cake for breakfast. Oh God, some of these kids didn't go to bed really, but you know what? It's a Sunday, it's not a school day. I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, so it's a Sunday. So let's have some like family time. Amber Lynn is fully rested. So she's waking up now. Was it Sora we were teaching to drive? Or was it somebody else? I forget. Baby count? I forget. We we always have to count again on the family tree, unless unless someone remembers. I should start keeping track of that. Morgan Inkbeard wants to know. No. We've probably already slept with him. Yeah, you think so as well? Okay, let's just let's just see. Ask for help learning to drive. What's Amber Lynn doing? Oh, she's gonna play with a toy. We could also do makeovers. We haven't done makeovers in a while. I don't wanna make over anyone that I've already made over though. Like Amber Lynn is like, I'm just gonna keep her the same. Amber Lynn is looking snatched. She had the Ozempic elixir. Okay, so yeah, let's just follow her out. I love this outfit. Like, I'm just, I'm so in love with it. I know last time I said it, like, it looked really good at every size. What I think it also does is looks kind of good at any age. Like, you could be like, 55 and wear that and you can be 18 When do the toddlers age up let's check oh my god, it's today. Okay, we'll do a birthday party. I guess Oh, it's triplet toddlers. Woe is me pick me and cheese string I kind of like the idea of pick me being the heir, but I want to have more babies So maybe we'll try and have boys Hi, late, late, but here. <laughs> Ozempic elixir. What about her gall, her gallbladder? You know what? We're not worrying about it. We have free healthcare in, in Barnacle Bay here. 
Yeah, so he's doing pretty well. Yay, so he's learned to drive. Well done. That's nice. Oh, I went to the wrong one. New car smell. So he's learned to drive and now he's gonna run home. Did Amber Lynn drive home? What's she doing? We could get a second car. We also have to open the gifts. Where is he? Okay, so the house is here. So I don't know what she's doing. Actually, you know what? We are already out. Hey, look at her thumbnail is like her, her old self. Okay, let's just look for, let's just look for a man. Get that out of the way. Let's go to the bistro. I play The Sims to experience free, free healthcare. It's like a wonderful, mysterious fantasy world. <clears throat> oh, I have the go here mod, so she's running. I'm like, what is she doing? You know what? Probably good for her. I'm just gonna let her run. She's already doing it. Look at her coming. I'm trying to get a good scene. I kind of miss having to get footage like this for the video essays. Cause like you just need like a bunch of background stuff of like Sims doing stuff. So like I'll just be playing around and just get shots like that. No explanation, no, no nothing. Just like, bye, Amberlynn is speeding. <laughs> I love how so many worlds in The Sims are inspired by American culture, but we still get free healthcare, honestly. Okay. Who are you? Are you related to us? You are, you're Chad. I was like, you look familiar, that's not good. He's our brother, I think. Because all of our siblings still live here. So we see them a lot. Who's this? Jeff Smith. Hideous gloves, but you know what? Friendly introduction. Oh, he's thinking of me. Okay. Jar of potent friendship. Throw elixir at Jeff Smith. That's the most boring name in the world. Oh, it didn't work. This lot is from a stuff pack, so it probably doesn't work. Morgue Jalopy is starting to feel ill. Okay, perfect. Morgue can take care of herself. Oh, I didn't ask about if he, uh, if he was married. Maybe his wife's dead. What is she gonna do? She's not gonna go play an online social game. She can talk to him. I'm gonna see if he has a sense of humor. Smith already wants his share of the jalopy pie. Yep, absolutely. And there's plenty of slices to go around. We usually end up like turning into an elder once we've run out of men. That's probably what's going to happen to me. Jalopy pie. That does sound good. You're not talking to anybody else. Okay, good. That worked out well. Okay, flirting worked. Hold hands. Amorous hug. She is thin now. We got some Ozempic in the mail. Okay, that's working. Oh. 
Okay, very alluring. First kiss. Dernhelm is here. Sims time, absolutely. We're doing what, what we do best. Okay, we're gonna zoom out. We're gonna go here. Actually, go here with Jeff Smith. Let's do that. Unroutable Sim found, Balder Jalopy. Okay, well, let's find out what happened. Ew, Balder. How did you grow up into that? Okay, you're gonna mop it up, but you're not gonna fix it. You know what? You can you can just repair it. You can learn something. Sorrow move. What's he trying to do? He probably has to pee. He doesn't have to do anything. I like the body changes in Sims 3. They are more realistic. I do too. Like when you do like the weight slider, it's very realistic how like people gain and lose weight. And of course, like for like real people, it's all a little bit different in different places. But I think this Sims 3 has a really good average of it. Realistic, but in a flattering way. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure that they can get into this room. Okay, oh wait. I think I have, I think I have the door locked. No, I think I, un did I unlock it? Let's just see if he can go in. Oh my God, he's blocking the door. Chad, what are you doing? He doesn't even live here. I'm gonna make sure this is unlocked. Okay, yep, yeah, that's good. Come on, let's go. Oh no, no, no. Who's this? Go away. Oh, he's the maid. Oh no, this is not good. This is gonna turn into a Kaelin Langrax situation. I'm gonna have them flirt. Oh no, there's two maids here. Do I have the laundry room locked? Nope, okay, I'm just making sure. Okay, perfect, I'm gonna lock these doors. Locked for everybody. Kiss. Okay, they're they're getting it going. Extremely irresistible. Let's do it. Looks like I'm all done here. Yeah, except they don't do the laundry. Wednesday Jalopy would like to chat. No, we're good. It's giving Ronald McDog Donald Legolas. Oh no. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I commented that he looks like someone who would play Baldur's Gate 3. Wreck is getting the sibling experience via The Sims, honestly. Like, I am an only child, and people used to say, like, don't you wish you had a sibling? I'm like, absolutely not. Me, 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 me. Let's get them quads going. That's probably what happened. Okay, good job. Good job. Now, never see you again. I'm gonna totally forget who he is by like Thursday. 
Ask everyone to leave. Yeah, because, like, I don't know who else is here, but I don't want them here. Okay, I... If I hurry... Okay, you know what? I don't have time to do birthday cakes because... That would be three toddler birthdays in two sim hours. I don't think that's possible. Make Balder look like a cosplayer. Oh, we have, if only I had movie stuff. <laughs> and I'm not buying movie stuff for that. Yeah, because we have room for five babies, so we may as well go for it. And like, realistically, we could make room for six. And once the babies are born, I'm gonna like lock this room for like only cemetery. What I should do is like put the playpen in my inventory so that, so that way they're not in the playpen. Okay, you're being carried by you, by fried rice. Here, put her here. Put down pick me over there. And then what's this? Miss Misfortune. Pick up cheese. Oh, change. Well, first of all, change the dirty diaper. Why is everyone sitting in this rocking chair? Okay, perfect. Now you go somewhere else. Where's leprosy? Oh no, Huck Finn leprosy. You should get someone to do the laundry because it's piling up. Okay, I will have, I have enough people who are able to do the laundry. Oh, I, he's, he's locked in. There we go. Okay, now he can leave. Okay, go away. Perfect, he's leaving. I'm gonna make sure everything else is unlocked. Actually, I like that this door is locked. I don't like that door there. I just did it because it's symmetrical. Oh no, now this is happening. Soro, go here. You don't need anything. Go drive somewhere. I'm like, what car is this? But it might be... Oh, no. She throwing up? Okay, cheese string is aging up. Two of them ended back up in the playpen, so I don't understand it. Okay, cheese string is perceptive. There we go. Okay, now the now the other one should age up, I hope. Do not put her in the playpen. Okay, I'm just gonna put it in the family inventory. Oh my God, our family inventory. There's our sloppy jalopy. I was wondering where that went. Cause we also have the motive mobile somewhere. Would you like to take all the family to Egypt? I don't know if you can travel with that many Sims. No, we're not going on a date. Cemetery's not interested. Uh, I might just do the cake. Okay, then I have to open the gifts. Where's the cake? Okay. Woe is me. Who's gonna do it? It's Amber Lynn. She's gonna do it. And then, and then we'll do pick me last. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh no, I did Sorrow by accident. Okay, you know what? Sorrow's aging up early because he learned to drive. I clicked, I clicked the wrong one. And he's supposed to age up tomorrow, so I don't think that that's, that that's too cheaty. That's fine. I'll allow that. We'll do three birthdays then. Oh no. Oh my God, get it, Amberlynn. If you use testing cheats, you can trigger age transition. Thank you, Sierra. I always forget about that stuff. I Usually for me, if I can do it in game, I usually prefer that way, but of course some things are a mess, so like you have to do it. Sorrow emo makeover. Okay, we'll give Sorrow a makeover. We'll give Pick Me a makeover. Woe is me loves to swim. Blow out candles, pick me. Pick me, Jalopy is having a birthday. Come one, come all. She's in this crib though. Oh yeah, Soro's still having his. Soro is finally a young adult. He is also perceptive. Perceptive is the trait of this generation. Okay, what does Soro wanna be? Sad. Hmm. Let's see, he's over emotional, perceptive, eccentric, grumpy, and good. Okay, so he's a drama queen. That's funny how he turned out that way. You know what? Detectives are always sad in movies, so I'm gonna pick that. Oh. Is Cemetery gonna be turned into an immortal being? No. Okay, we have one more birthday. I hope this doesn't crash. <laughs> Let's go. So far, so good. I'm gonna not speed three this, but I am gonna move away from the sounds. Okay, Miss Fortune, what's wrong with you? Oh God, okay, yeah, so like all of them are aging up today anyway. So since it's midnight, we could probably just get it all over with. I don't think Cemetery's a fairy. She seems like a fairy. I just, I want them to die. I like, I like moving on. Because if we keep Cemetery for so oh no, I made a build mistake. If we keep Cemetery alive for all the generations, then we might not have a new Ant Cemetery, if you know what I mean. How many more babies am I gonna have? I just do pregnancies until she's an elder, and then the youngest daughter is then, oh my God, look at this. This is a Sims 3 100 baby screenshot if I ever saw one. How's your 100 baby challenge going? Oh, it's going. It's going. Last toddler, let's go. She's stinky. Age up. Did it not work? Okay, let's see. I'm gonna save. If we have another girl, pick me can be the cemetery of gen three. That's a great idea. That's exactly what I mean too. You know what I mean? Cause like without cemetery, we need an ant cemetery, so then we have to look elsewhere. So maybe we'll fall in love with Pick Me. Although right now she's being difficult. Okay, let's just see if this works. <coughs> Bless me. Okay, whatever, just go. Perfect. She has a good sense of humor. That's, that's nice. Cemetery has worked so hard. You're right. Let her rest when the time comes. And like, we could name, 
the family cemetery after her. <laughs> Pikmies are pure hearted. They are just misunderstood. I completely agree. Okay, now I'm gonna save as. Wait a minute. Why won't, oh right, cause she's having a birthday. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, yes. Cemetery, cemetery. Like, literally. <laughs> Me, watching as my sim rocks on the rocking chair with their one baby. You don't have to play the sims like this. This is just how I do it. I just like a challenge. So, like... You know how, like, in the sims community, there's a bunch of challenges? Some of them are not difficult like they like they don't challenge me so like i just do the ones that i think are a little bit a little bit more entertaining for me so like i like the 10 minute build challenge because that's hard i like the 100 baby challenge i like the not so berry challenge because it gives me structure oh no someone passed out that's fine we have school tomorrow wake up I'm excited for like the new world and the new house and stuff too. Is Cemetery allowed to have a kid too? She is. I think her canon is lesbian, but we could always adopt. When she's an elder, she can adopt and then go live in like, go live out her day. No, I want her to die here. If she's still alive when Amber Lynn becomes an elder, then we'll have Cemetery have her own little house. Him says hi. Oh my God, I'm late. Oh no. You didn't miss too much. We are pregnant, I think. Let's actually, why don't we find out? We are pregnant, so we cannot enroll in university. That is confirmed. Look at all the cake. The cakes are gone almost. Oh no, there's rotten cake in the fridge now. Where is she going? Oh, she's like glitched out. Okay, Amberlynn, repair the shower. Then you can pee. Unclog. Clean. Okay, whatever. She's gonna use it first. That's fine. The baby's coming. Make sure you clean up. She doesn't have to go to school, so it doesn't matter. Okay, you're okay. Is everyone in bed? Bed, 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 bed. You're exhausted, but at least you went to bed at some point. You're also dirty. Who is this? It's leprosy. Oh god. Leprosy's not doing too good. Oh, it's a holiday today. We don't have to worry about it. That's good. Okay, Amberlynn is getting her baby bum. What is she wearing? Oh, that's the laundry. I thought she was wearing like yellow flippers. Have we opened gifts yet? We have not. We should do that right now. We should also save. What if Amberlynn dies? before she becomes an elder, it then it still works the same way. Like, as long as Amber Lynn has one daughter, the challenge can continue. And like, the good thing about the 100 baby challenge is that you make it as hard as you wanna make it. Like, you don't have to have like 14 kids at once. Like, you can have like twins, wait till they're kids, then have twins again. Like, I recommend that more in The Sims 2 because The Sims 2, it's a little bit Harder to take care of the babies, I find. She's rocking with flair. You know what? That's fine. She wants to see Soro get married. Okay. Soro moves out today. So we can do his... We can do his makeover. Actually, you know what? They can probably all skip school if they're... Because... Well, because today's the holiday, then they all age up. So it's like, whatever their grade is, is what their grade is. They have Bs. Well, not the kids yet, but. Okay, we got a couple C students here. 
but at least for these three. Imagine a Sims 100 baby challenge. You can't even initiate the baby. Like you have to wait for the chance card. That would take forever, forever. Okay, we don't have to worry about school. Amberlynn's already pregnant. We're in a good position. We have not been in a good position for a while. We're gonna have quads. I just know it. Why don't we listen to kids music? Or watch kids TV. It's Bill's birthday. It's tragedy's birthday. It's misfortune's birthday. Well done. Wait, do I still have the speakers outside? I do not. I want nice ones, but not big. Oh, these are so ugly. Vintage record player. Oh, it's a four to three conversion. I was wondering like, where did I even get this? Like I barely have any CC, but like sometimes I'll get a Sims four pack for the Sims three. So that's what that is. Okay, you know what? We don't need this. There we go, that kind of fits. I'm gonna make it white. Or silver. I always use the university one because it's only one tile. I was debating that. She might be too pregnant for it to um for it to work, but we'll see. Let's just try for the quads. I don't play The Sims 4, but I have all the BZ's conversions. That's that's good. I think Cemetery should have a kid who takes over the nanny role. That's not a bad idea either. We'll see what happens with Pick Me. Because if we don't like her, then that's a much better idea. Plus, if Cemetery does the adoption, Usually I like the adopted kids in The Sims 3. Sometimes they're potato, but sometimes they're not. And if they're not, they're like amazing. They come out like an alpha girly. Love the late night TV for budget builds. Not too big or small and not too expensive. There are some items in the build buy catalog that are just like that. Okay. Oh, I guess they are going to school even though it's leisure day. Is it leisure day for everyone? Okay, actually that's fine, that's better. I would rather them go to school. Okay, let's go to the mailbox. Everyone go to school. Where is everybody? You're, okay, you're taking a different door, that's fine. Oh no, there goes cheese string. Okay, we can do Soros makeover today because he's already a, uh, an adult. Oh no, pick me's asleep. And she's really hungry, but that's, she'll have to, she can be like a Ruby Frank kid. Oh, she didn't pack her lunch, so she can just be hungry. Please wake up. She's missed the bus. You know what, fine. You want to skip school? I don't care. I don't have time to worry about it. Typical school. Pretend it's not a holiday so that way they can bring the kids in. Literally. Okay, cemetery's doing pretty good. Looks like she's she takes care of herself. She takes care of the kids. Amberlynn is just sitting here trying to multiply. <laughs> she's also childish, so like she would enjoy all of this stuff anyway. Like she's literally having a blast and she's eagerly expecting. Okay, why don't we have Cemetery go to the mailbox then? I'll just have to remember to give the elixirs to Amberlynn. 
Okay, get mail. Let's go. Kids and teens do not get leisure date. They suffer. That yeah, I guess so. I guess it's just a day off work. Oh right, except except gifts from from friend. I just picked mail. Thank you, Ariana. Jar of potent discord. I'll send you one. And I'll accept your second one. Ozempic, maybe? Let's see. Jar of friendship. Honestly, the the friendship one is better, so I'll take it. Thank you so much. Okay. 200 simoleons. Oh, wow. You did all five. Potent invigorating elixir. Large and in charge. Oh, no. You got a weight. You gave us a weight gain one. Oh, well, we'll need that soon anyway. Thank you, John. Oh, my favorite painting thing. I know you said not to send you, but I'm going to send it. Oh, Dee Dee, thank you so much. Oh, we got the good TV. This is like my starter home TV. You can have luxury care. Thank you so much. Coffee table. I'm going to save some of the furniture because we will have to build a new house, you know, relatively soon. I got on right before you streamed to send them to you. My laptop may be broken, but it still runs. It's like, okay, let's see if there's enough power left in this to send five Sims 3 gifts. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you for the PC. I know right where that could go, actually. Thank you, Pony Pickles. Joe Rod, Jorid. Ooh, the state, the stately statue. I bet that's expensive. Thank you. You can have a surprise gift box. Okay, well, except from Pony, we got the desk. Jar of friendship. Thank you so much. This is amazing. Flask of potent sleep. I have to try out some of the other elixirs. Thank you for the computer. Long live the Sims 3. I agree. Ready for close-up photo booth. I think we've got a, one of those before. And the invigorating elixirs. I love these two. Thank you, Twyla. Okay. Now we're going to save. You know how it goes. Fido Mom's here. Welcome. You made it. I'm late, but I made it finally. She's asking Maloney for an update. We are pregnant. I can say that. My memory is not the best, but I do remember the getting pregnant and checking. Okay, she's tired. You know what? You can sleep till you give birth, probably. So why don't you... Why don't you take a... Why don't you use the bathroom that's actually clean? I've never seen this bathroom clean and, like, where everything wasn't broken. Take a bath. I put two rubber duckies on there. I'm going to take one off. I'm going to put one there. Oh, right. Her hair. Her bath hair. But I can't change it or else it'll show her naked and create a sim. I made that mistake before. She, like, she has a whole different face with that hair. Okay, let's see what everyone else is doing. Okay, we got to... Soro, we're going to make you over. This is not... This is not what I was expecting. He's germy. He's sick. He's homesick. Is pick me sick? She's not even sick and she stayed home. Okay. I'm going to save before and after. Oh, rap. Wow, Maloney's giving the lore update. 
I'd prefer that hair over the Cassandra goth pigtails for the bath hair, honestly. Oh. <laughs> okay, edit and create a sim. I should save too. Always save. Like if you if you think of saving, save. That's how I see it. Okay. Yes. We're gonna do emo. Should we should we do a color? I'm gonna do a color. Like he can rebel against his family and do blue. Cause they're all like red. How did Rugrat die again? She died of dehydration. Like I didn't, I didn't understand. First of all, I didn't realize they were mermaids for like maybe 12 hours. And then I sent them both to like go hydrate themselves in the shower and the bath. And I guess only one of them made it because the other one might've got kicked out by someone using the toilet or something. And like, I just wasn't paying attention. We had three rows of Sims. So I had over 16 Sims and then she just, that was it. Yeah, let's do like jet black. I would never use this blue for anything, but I kind of like it. Should we do like a darker blue or should I keep it saturated? I think that looks good because it looks like he dyed it blue. Oh, we're definitely doing makeup and stuff. I'm just thinking about the hair here. I'll move. I'll, I'll move myself. He's got a good face too. We got really lucky. Like we are hitting the genetic lottery. Does this mean Rugrat can't count towards the 100? I am personally not counting her. Like I like I. Now it's the 101 baby challenge. He needs a piercing. Oh yeah, we're gonna do the whole thing. I was playing Roblox last night and I think it's called Fashion Famous. And one of the categories was emo and I got second place. Cause I was in high school in like the early and mid 2000s when like emo was like a thing. Like I would never do that to my hair but everyone around me was doing that to their hair so let me give him bushy eyebrows let's give him sad eyebrows yeah sad oh i love the unibrow actually love it I'm going to not do the unibrow. No facial hair. I have a dose. Don't eat body hair. Oh, back hair. Yeah, let's give him a little bit of back hair. Just for funsies. I don't want facial hair, though. Okay, I'm not going to change any of that. Let's just let's just do his like every day. He looks so much like my Greek emo boyfriend. That's exactly the look we're going for. That game was dressed to impress. Thank you, CJ. <laughs> I don't know the different, like, I, I know the games that I've played, but some games are kind of clones of other games. So like, I don't know if I'm playing the Survivor Island like, am I playing Survivor or Big Brother? I don't know, right? <laughs> Sims 3 GG, hi, how are you? Oh, this might be it. I was hoping to do a more adult emo. Let's see if I can find a skinny jean. Let's just, let's just start with that. I was hoping for a skinny jean. Like that, but jeans. Oh, maybe that. They're kind of tight. Do you like red? What's his favorite color?
course it's gray because he's depressing. Soro's favorite color is gray. Okay, well then we can give him like gray in the upper half. I kind of like having something bl like blank in between the two strong colors anyway. I kind of like the jacket, but I don't like the shirts under it. This is probably from university. Again, I want something like that, but not as future-y. He's not like the other guys, honestly. His red jeans with blue hair is so funny. I'm gonna try to make it make sense. I'm just gonna load all the thumbnails first, so that way I know what I'm looking at. The store thumbnails always take way longer to load. I don't know why. All the expansion pack stuff loads like almost instantly for me now. But store stuff. And like, it's not lagging the game. It's just you're waiting for it. And like there, there is a difference between those two things and I'm very thankful. Is, I wish, I wish there was a version with just the unhappy face. The flannel shirt is giving Midwestern emo, and that is not something I'm interested in looking like. I lived in Alberta for several years in Calgary, and like, you wouldn't believe it. People wear plaid to dinner. Like, ew. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm from Toronto, and now I live in Montreal, and like, we don't do that. Maybe some piercings for sure. I just, I can't find the right shirt. Give him fingerless gloves. I'm gonna put on like one of every accessory. I'm just gonna start clicking things. I'm not doing the plaid. What about like a leather jacket? Like, I want a tight t-shirt or a leather jacket. We do the werewolf one. My soul tried to escape from my body. Ew. This is Seasons? This looks like Into the Future. Who picked these? I know close to the top is going to be Into the Future. I do feel like the hoodie is it. Like, and technically he is a young adult. I might just do this, but I'm gonna make it gray. I'll make them like different grays. His jacket can have like a bit of, a bit of something. We want it like a purple black, blue black, a green black. Maybe neutral. I think neutral is better because his hair and his pants are so bright. So here, I'm gonna make a white shirt. Gray underneath, what's this? No, that one would be gray. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, his shoes, I'm gonna give him the Converse shoes. Also, I have a question for anyone who's ever wore Converse shoes. Bye CJ, we'll see you later. I like the hoodie, I just think it looks too teenager. Like, if he didn't just grow up, like I would have picked the hoodie for a teen, but like he's gonna move out and he's gonna age up and stuff. So, so like, I just wanna keep him. Okay, I think, I think this is the converse. Are, is one of the defaults not black? Like, why would you not have black or white as the default for converse shoes?
Yeah, we'll do it like this. Make them look a little dirty and worn. Converse are so uncomfortable. I can't believe I wore them so much in high school. See, like, I had a uniform in high school because I went to a Catholic school. It wasn't a private school. It was a Catholic school. There is a... There is a privileged difference between these two things. But we had to wear, like, dressy shoes. You couldn't even wear black running shoes unless you were, like, like you, like you broke your leg or something and had crutches. But they still had to be black, like... <laughs> Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's do the accessories. Oh my God. No, I don't think he's a glasses emo, but he can definitely have like the piercings. So let's give him the earrings. Let's give him like a, oh, the checkered. We, we can put a checkered pattern on a studded bracelet. Because we're playing The Sims 3 and we can do whatever we want. Where's a good checker? Here. Yes! I'm gonna do that. Look at that. <laughs> I'm very pleased with myself for that. <laughs> like, ugh, I'm a genius. Oh, we had we had our dirty socks. Is that a wedding ring? Yeah, we're not doing that. The fingerless gloves someone mentioned. Oh my God, I can make these a color. Or I can do them as, I can do two different colors. I love this game. Okay, let's just try white and black just to see if one, I don't, I don't like how they're that texture. Does that change it? Okay, one second. Make it metal. No, like it's got a texture on it. Maybe not all of them have it. No, they all have it. Oh, that's too bad. I don't, I don't like that they're like knitted, you know? And like, it's not even like a knit fabric. It's like, it's like someone knit yarn. I would befriend him on MySpace. I had MySpace in 2003, four and five. And I, it was, it was, a t I had, I was in so much danger. <laughs> I'll just put it that way. Like nowadays, like the internet is so crazy and I see people putting all their business on the internet. I used to do that as a teenager, but like in a more primitive version of it. Oh, we can get him in an SA whistle, I guess. Good God. I don't know. They're not going to open that can of worms. Let's just, let's try regular gloves. I'm going to give it a shot. No, we tried. Now, facial piercings. Where is that? It's this. I don't even know what this button does. Oh yeah, eyeliner. I need, I forgot makeup. Oh yeah, and tattoos. Okay. Dark eyeliner. I don't want like Amy Winehouse wings, but I want thick eyeliner. Oh no. I might have to do the tips because I want it thick. But I could always do like different Oh my God, it's eyelashes. I don't want lashes. Oh, hi Cam, thank you so much. Cam is one of my dedicated simmers and we are dedicated to to everything except The Sims 4. <sighs> now, 
Now, now I see why people use CC makeup. Okay, I'm gonna do this one, but I'm gonna make part of it blue. There we go. I think that's I think that's my best course of action. I did not get rid of the gloves. I'll need to do that. Hmm, what's an emo tattoo? This one. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna put it on his front. Wait, I have to take off this one first. I'm never in the tattoo part, so like, ugh. Here, just get rid of it. X. chest oh my god we could do the skull should we do the skull or the broken heart he's looking a little bit like Adam Lambert a little bit I didn't do the face broken heart it's more on brand, broken heart. Why not both? I can put the skulls on the back or like maybe on his arm. Let's do that. Now, now I can't find it. I don't know where any of this stuff is. And I want an upper arm. This is why I don't do tattoos. You can even create a style of the tattoo, like this game. Advanced mode? I don't think I've ever done this. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I learn something new about this game every time I play it. Oh, wow. Here, let's just, let's just go back to the other one. I like them a little bit darker. You, we could always reduce the opacity when he gets older if we want. Okay, I need to take off these gloves. Ankle tattoo. Oh, he's in ugly socks, I forgot. Okay. Let's just do a couple more outfits quick. His makeup is good. His makeup's gonna stay the same. I'm gonna make sure his hair stays the same. Okay, everything's set up for that. Okay, let's... Let's do sleepwear. Yeah, let's do sleepwear. What would an emo wear to bed? Probably this. <laughs> this is what I wear to bed. Like a house coat and like plaid pajama pants. <laughs> That's my thing. Mine's more this length. I don't like the pajamas. I'm gonna do separate. No, he wouldn't wear a cardigan. He looks like Mr. Snowflake would wear. Whoa. <laughs> I used to wear shirts like this. So we set you pick me. Actually, I don't hate that. Okay, is there a t-shirt that makes sense? Honestly, that one kind of makes sense. Let's do this one. It'll make it gray. We need something so we can see his broken heart. Okay, you're right. Let's do... Yeah. Even if we don't see... It all... I kind of like the tank top. What's this show? <laughs> you can just see a little bit of it. But it's future. We can just do shirtless. 
Or chain mail. Oh, the necklace. Okay, that's... I'm just gonna do this. I also like the tank top. We can also add it to... Oh my god, tearaway sweatpants. Yes. What about this? What about the Oh no. I I remember pants like this. Ew. I can't decide. Why am I stuck on this? Okay, let's just I kind of like the fire ones. I'm just going to keep the fire ones. And I'm gonna give him slippers. Okay, not if those are the slipper options. Okay, we're gonna... I don't really need swimwear. I don't need athletic. I don't think he's gonna go out much. I think that's good enough. Okay, he's got his... He's got all of his traits. Let's see if there's something more appropriate for his... Lifetime wish. Can we have a baby with the Grim Reaper? We could do that. We could even do that for the air. So I guess we'll see. Hmm. Gold Digger, Golden Tongue, Great Explorer, Grand Explorer, Greener gar Gardens, Heartbreaker. <laughs> we could do that. Isn't there one that's like depressed? Wants to be the saddest sim ever. There's so many of these. Athena says dinner time, bye. We'll see you later. When we see you, we'll probably have four more sims. The difference between Sims personalities were too negligible for me. Sims 4 was all too samey. Every Sim feels the exact same. I'll just pick Heart Heartbreaker and then he'll date nobody and then he'll be sad. That's that's my plan. Oh, he's a Libra. I guess we'll see. He likes digi tunes. That's perfect. And he likes vegetarian grilled salmon. He's so emo. Okay, I gotta take off these gloves. I keep forgetting about these stupid gloves. Hate these. My window in front of me has been open this whole time. The whole street can hear me. I wonder what they're thinking. Here I am talking about how the baby died. I'm sure that sounds great. The police show up. We're looking for Rugrat. <laughs> I'll be like, she's dead. <laughs> okay, well done. Oh, look at his look at his thumbnail. I love it. This looks very appropriate. Hope she beats him. Okay, I'm gonna save. Because we always save before and after. Sims 4's aspirations are just tutorials. Yes, that drives me crazy. Drives me crazy. I hear Kyle licking his empty food bowl. Let's get Kyle over here. Because we just have to have Amberlynn give birth. And she's not ready to give birth yet. Kyle. Oh, come on. It's also getting cold. Maybe I'll close the window. Kyle's here, everybody. Say hello. Mwah. What would you like to say? There we go. We got a meow finally. Look at that. What's that, Kyle? Did you say 
hit the like button? You did! Oh, wow. Look at you. Ugh, my heart. He is handsome. He's lazy, but he's handsome. Mwah. Say something else. <laughs> he's not very vocal. Unless I don't want him to be, then he then he doesn't stop talking. Ugh, oh, he jumped. My big boy came to say hi to your big boy. Yeah, Kyle does not get along with other cats. Look at him lick the smell of me off of him. I guess I'm just gross. Oh God, look at this makeover. We have to figure out where to move all of them. We might have to get another house. How many live in this one? Probably not too many. Cause it's only because there's only five difficulty bars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We we might need another house. Where's the other ones? I always forget where the other house is. It might be, might be this one? No. Oh, the farm, right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay, so we just need like a new, a new house. So I'm gonna put them on an empty lot. Is this already a, a lot with a mailbox on it? I just remember from last time, it's best to like, have something on the lot. So I'm just going to do that preemptively. I have a black cat in the neighborhood always greeting me and visiting my house. W one neighbor cat likes to come to our window and then he him or her and Kyle just start like making this weird noise like like not noises he does to me. But like neither of them leave. They just both make that noise and look at each other. Oh no, I'm not I'm not changing my household. I'm just gonna go back. I think Swish is a good name for the cat. New friend request. Can I accept this like in the game? Oh, I didn't realize it was that easy. I used to use this like back in the day, but it's been a while. I just use like the gifts and like figure out things like that. I'm always scared to do the in-game stuff, even if you can. Like for example, like you can buy and install CC from the Sims 3 store while you're playing the Sims 3. I don't want to try that. It's hard enough to get things to install with the EA app. I don't need to worry about this. Okay, it's a birthday day. They'll be coming home soon. All the teenagers are taking a field trip to the cafe tomorrow. Excellent. The maid is here. The ice cream truck is here. I guess it's leaving. Are you out of school yet? Yes. Okay, come on, everyone to the school bus. I hate how the school bus is over here. Like, they all have to run around the whole school. Kyle said, this is my house. Yep, absolutely. And Kyle doesn't like to share. He doesn't like to share food. He doesn't like to share a litter box. He doesn't like to share the bed. Unless it's with me, but he likes to sleep in the middle of the bed. So I get to sleep on like 25% of the bed that I paid for. It's like being married. Chris says, I'm late. That's okay. We haven't, we haven't been moving at warp speed. We are pregnant though. And we were eagerly expecting and we are still eagerly expecting. We are just playing with a dinosaur on the floor as usual. No, oh, you tired? Go to bed. I thought I thought you were going to go to bed. But then I got distracted. You. Oh no, look at this energy. 
I'm gonna cheat him a little bit just so that way he gets home. It wasn't my fault the birthdays weren't working. I mean, look at his face. He, he is a Kyle, honestly. I'm so glad the name worked out. He's honking. Who are you? Morg is walking so slow. Just, just cause you're sick. Sick, tired, and dirty. Tired, germy, and grungy. That's right. You and your purple shorts. Dirty. Is Kyle named for the South Park character? Kyle was named after Kylie Minogue. Cause he was supposed to be a girl, but then he was a boy, so he's Kyle. He was gonna be Kylie Meowg. I like how they're all in like a different color. I didn't do any of that, but it's very much something I would do just so I can tell which kid is which. I made three staircases, I made double door, I made double entryway, and yet they all still like to get clogged up here. We're not having a porch next house. <laughs> or it'll be like a porch with like different ways to get onto it. That is so cute. I love when animals have have human names. Yes, he has a human name. He's my best friend. I don't I don't want him to have like a cat name. My tabby's name was supposed to be Bruce, but he's Goosey now and we never call him Bruce. I often call Kyle Piggy. That's like his nickname because he's always hungry and he will always eat. Like if I just left an unlimited supply of food out, he would just eat nonstop, throw up, keep eating, throw up. Like, I think he's got some sort of condition where like he just never feels not hungry. But I feed him from like a measuring cup and he gets the amount of food he's supposed to get for his size. I call all my cats piggies as a group. Yeah, so like, I don't think it's abnormal behavior. Like, since I'm able to regularly feed him at the same times every day, it's not an issue, right? Cause like, you can't do anything about it. But he gets, he gets measured food. We wanted to name our Rhodesian Ridgeback Luna, but my dad insisted on, on on Amber, so we made Luna her middle name. Luna is a very popular pet name for cats and for dogs. You just want to go on MySpace. Go to the bathroom. Oh, cemetery's in the good bathroom. Here, you, you can use the kids' bathroom. We need a new house. Hurry up, Amber Lynn, get old. We are 14 days away, so we are two weeks away from the torch being passed on. Let's try and speed three and see what happens. Oh no, my fat boys, the two oldest ones, eat fast and puke all the time. He likes, he shovels the food like a, like, like a shovel, like, what, like, you know how you scoop cat litter? That's how he eats, it's like, ah. Ah, ah, like, oh my God. What are you two doing in here? Soro, your last duty is to do laundry. Cause somebody's gotta. Oh no, someone's in the shower. Who is it? It's tragedy. Hey tragedy, you're gonna go over here. Oh, it's already 8 PM. So they're gonna age up automatically. Hopefully. Okay, you're doing even more laundry? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Like, ah! Clean up first. Okay, we're having a birthday. So many clothes in here. Yay, Miss Fortune's gonna have have her birthday in the smallest bathroom. Like, oh no. 
This is so Sims 3. And of course, there's a child playing with an imaginary flat friend on the floor in the way. I've been told by at least three people that their dog's name is Sierra. I don't know if my name is a dog's name. I've, I've known people with your name. So yeah, like they copied you, not the other way around. And I'm sure if you were named after a dog, it was a beautiful one. Hmm. For misfortune? She likes martial arts. There's two of them for martial arts. You know what? Yeah, let's just do that. I'm not gonna be playing it. She's a vehicle enthusiast. Ew, she can move out. Tragedy's birthday. Oh, look at her go. Look at that face. This is this is a screenshot. Wow. She has the same face I have when I when I used to play The Sims 4. Vehicle enthusiast canceled. Yeah, like what an awful trait. <laughs> Okay, let's see what happens to you. Okay, her hair changed and she's also perceptive. Then she can be a private eye. <laughs> oh, she got Amberlynn's bath hair. Oh. 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 <laughs> it's, she looks like The Sims 3. Okay, that's fine. One more. No bills. He never learned how to tame his hair. Speaking of Amberlynn, how's she coming along? She should be she should be ready any minute. Due to his indifferent study habits, he's a natural born performer. That makes sense. Oh, he's got the same pants. I don't even know anything about him. He can be a jockey. He has the same pants as his brother. Uh, how did that even happen? Okay, one, no, is that, is that all of them? I think so. I'm gonna save. We're gonna save as, then I'm gonna move them out, and then we're gonna save again, so that way we know which save file is which. The sun is going down. When I was, um, when I first started doing the Tuesdays and Thursdays with the 100 baby challenge, it was so dark outside. Like it was dark when I got home from work and everything. And now it's like, I get home from work. I do my whole stream and it's still light out. Like it's dusk, but like, it's not, it's not pitch black yet. And like when I'm finished, it'll just be nighttime. Okay, that was that. So let's edit town, discontinue, split up household. Okay, bills, tragedy, sorrow. And misfortune? Is it one second? I just want to make sure. I don't want to move out the wrong ones. Oh, right, because uh, because we aged the one up early, probably. Okay. Bills is young adult, misfortune, tragedy, and so, yeah, so then there's four of them. That's fine. I just didn't want to move out one of the teenagers. The motive mobile. Oh my God, you're right. Thank you. We cannot forget anything. Inventory, the motive mobile. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, now we'll move them out. Okay, split up household. Bills. Misfortune. Sorrow. 
Sorrow. What is the other one? Oh, Tragedy. Okay, so they're gonna be on the clipboard. I'm just gonna move across the open world and I'm gonna put them here. We can't buy the lot. Oh no, we need to buy a small lot. One second. Free real estate on. I don't buy them their own house. One bedroom? That place looks so big. Oh God, is there any empty houses? What's this house? Three bedroom, one, uh, one bath, that's fine. Plankton, pl Plankton Penthouse, I like that name. Okay, so they can live there. Should we see what their, I was, I, I just wanna see what their house looks like. We're not gonna really renovate it. Actually, I kind of want to see everyone's, but I want to have Amberlynn have her babies tonight. Ew, it looks like the Caliente's house, but a little bit more geometric. I've seen worse. Oh, this is the wrong house. Is it this house? I've already messed up. Yeah, here it is. I hit the wrong house. Do you use Enra story progression? I do not. Oh, they've got a little moat in the front. That's okay. I mean, it's still ugly and Barnacle Bay styled, but it's pretty good for that. Oh, I don't like the mod columns with this overhang. I do not like the pit, like, the high pitch on the roof. I don't really like the fact that it's a hipped roof. Turn on all lights. I think we all know what I think about this kitchen with its green, blue, and bathroom sink. I like orange and blue together. That's kind of nice. And like, it's not a bright orange, but it is leopard print. I like leopard print leather sofas, but I don't think other people should. This bathroom looks like it came out of a Sims console game. This room, oh dear, no. This room is just like, it's too base swatch. It's just like, what is it? It's nothing. Like it has everything you need. The two, like the two end tables with the two lamps and the bed and everything, but like the blue comforter with these pink walls and this weird wallpaper on top. And the fact that it's these lamps, like I hate these lamps. I love those lamps, I don't, I don't like, like, and I've tried, I've tried using the wall light set with them or anything like that. Your favorite colors, honestly. And then we have the green bedroom. At least this house has a computer. He has nowhere to sleep, he can sleep on the couch. I was just curious. My mouth's getting dry. This house is something. I mean, it's like maybe a four and that's pretty good. Like, <laughs> cause we've definitely seen worse. I might even give it a five. It has a library, like a study area. It's got the blinds in it. Like it's not awful. They like, they have a few good ideas. It just didn't really come together. Okay. I want to check out the other houses quick. Then we'll have Amberlynn have her baby. I promise I'll stay on until until we give birth. I just want to see what the other what the other empty houses looked like. I would love to renovate this because it just looks out outdated. It kind of does have that vibe. It looks like it it looks like the people tried to sell it like 30 years ago and then it just never sold, so it just stayed in a showroom state. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Oh my God. Don't look at the bathroom yet. Okay, 
So let's just walk into this mess. It is something else. This looks like, this looks like The Sims 4, like The Sims 4 floor plan with like this kind of living room, the dining room here, the two chairs off to the side, that's very Sims 3. The kitchen, I don't understand why the counters are like this. There's always a bathroom sink in an EA kitchen. Look at this bathroom. Oh no. What happened? Like, it's like they made it to bother me. Like that's the, pro like this, this bothers me. It's even greener than usual. That's the thing that bothers me. It's like, we couldn't make it just green. We had to make it all different kinds of green in all different places. And in fact, the only thing that's not green is the blinds. And I'm not sure why they're not, like they could have easily made those a different green, but we have to have floor to ceiling green tiles with green, it cannot be more green. Like that's the thing, like you could, it's like. I don't understand it. Anyway, let's go upstairs. And I guess they had the same idea for blue. Why are these bathrooms so big? Like you can do a big bathroom and have it look nice. Like for example, we could like, we could get rid of the shower. We could go into build mode. We could do like a platform. I'm just gonna move this over. As I was saying, we could do a platform. We could even put like tile around there or we could do tile on the top and we could do wood like on the bathroom floor. We could do like a tub that wasn't tucked into something. You know, like you could like, and then maybe you could put like a plant if you wanted to decorate it. You put a plant here, you put a plant. No, not maybe not that plant, maybe this plant. And then it's like, okay, at least we have like, at least we used the space a little bit, you know, like if you're gonna use 25, 30 tiles for a bathroom, like you may as well do something with it. And there's so many good little bathroom items. I know I'm off on a tangent, but I just feel like doing this. I haven't built in a while. Maybe I'll have to do a build soon. But like, there's all these, where is it? function, decor, I guess like miscellaneous. Like obviously you have like the toilet paper thing that that they usually use, but there's like different cabinets and there's like stand up cabinets. I can't find them at the moment. Maybe it's a little bit harder than I thought. But like even that, like here, you don't even have a medicine cabinet. So we can just stick that. We can put it over the toilet if we wanted to. We could box in the toilet area. That's always fun like doing like a little private area for the toilet like this. You can even put tiles on this too. You can even put tiles where the toilet area is. You could do a quarter tile if you really wanted to. You could even, if you were going really crazy, do the Fifi fence thing just to like section it off. We could do a better wood. It's still ugly because I would never pick these blues, but I'm like, like, how long did that take? 30 seconds. And it's like, look, now you have a rich person's bathroom. Hilariously triggered. Those bathrooms triggered. I'm so triggered. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. And like this bedroom is beautiful. Like it's, it's got room for two different Sims. They could be adults, they could be kids. I know it's for teens, it looks like, because you got like the computer and the, the homework desk. It's got a bookshelf, it's got an easel, it's got a painting, it's got an ugly rug, but you could always fix that quickly. A couple plants, they're ugly, but they tried. This is not centered, it could be centered. Like, let's just try, why is this here? Move this over. Oh, Soros bed. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, you know, you could just, like, this is a good bedroom. So why? Was this the bathroom? Let's just go back. You know, like why? They're ugly, but they tried. Yeah, honestly though. <laughs> Straight up induced his rage. I think it's important to like, get out negative emotions in a healthy way. And like, that's just one of the ways that I'm able to do it. Like if I get mad at a make-believe video game bathroom, like 
That's a pretty, like, least destructive way I could do that. I could be talking about people on Twitter. <laughs> that would be way worse. I recommend everyone having a bad day to just yell at a Sims bathroom. It is remarkably therapeutic. And like, I feel better. <laughs> I feel better now. Okay, let's load the household and we'll save again. Okay, we're back. Okay, Amberlynn better have slept at some point. Or is she, is she ready to give birth? I yelled at my PowerPoint and felt, and felt better. She's not visiting the Darwin household. She's not doing anything except giving birth. Oh, now she's anxiously expecting. Okay, you can go to sleep. Yeah, she's still tired. Like, go to bed. You're pregnant. There's two people in there, but she seems to be sleeping through it. I vent at my Sims games too. I often snark at my Sims. That's a good way to do it. Okay, she's... Okay, go to the hospital. I can see it. She's in labor. Go to hospital. Let's go. Let's go. She's got a nice little outerwear outfit. At long last, honestly. Okay, start thinking of your names. And in fact, I'm gonna get the wheel spin ready. Spin the wheel. Dot IO. I have no suggestions because both of my picks, the wheel landed on last time. Oh, it's hailing. I thought it was just raining. It's hail, it's summer. She's gonna take the motive mobile. That's a great idea. Amberlynn's preferred motive magenta 3000. You're telling me. Get your names ready, people. Yep. Someone set up pranks on those items. Yeah, literally. I'm back. What did I miss? We're about to give birth. So you're right on time. Rate. Rage quit, stinky and smelly. I like those. Turnip. Oiso like bird. We have a baby boy. Okay, let's, I have to figure out the wheel. Oh, I did, I forgot to move myself back. That's okay. There, okay. I'm gonna get the wheel going. There it is. Okay, let's... I'm scared. Neglect to, I like that too. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can get this. Okay, I really like, I really like stinky. Smelly. I like raid, rage quit. We have we we've, we've tried for rage quit before. I remember. Perceptive. Oh no. I'm going to do that because that'll remind us of all the perceptive sims. Disappointment. I hope it, I hope that's spelled correctly. Okay, let's see if I can get a couple more. Okay, neglect 2. I feel like we, I feel like we had a my abstinence. That's the last one. Okay. Okay, we're gonna spin. Are you ready? Three, two, one. It's disappointment, yay. Disappointment because he was born a boy. Let's do that. If I spelled it wrong, we'll correct it in the next stream. Someone will make a comment about it. D disappointment. 
disappointment. Why, like, why is spelling so difficult? Okay. Oh, we had a good pregnancy. That's a change. Okay, one, two, three. Slob, artistic slob. Oh, I, I got his name wrong. Oh no, whatever. It's fine, I'll fix it later. Okay, congratulate. I was I forgot the last T. Congratulations on the new baby boys. Now we have a new boy. Two boys, pick me is still the heir. Keep the spelling because men are disappointing. <laughs> he's gonna become rich and famous. No, he's not. Because English is full of bull, honestly. Okay, let's see if I can get one more name in. Oh, Natasha for a girl. We've been trying to get that. We've been trying to get that one too. I'll put I'll put Natasha on if we roll a girl. Oh, Rancid. I saw that name. Rancid. Oh, please, please add issues. Okay, issues and rancid. Okay. Three, two. One. It's disappointment. No, it's neglect two. It's neglect two. It just made it. Okay, neglect two. That's good. I hope he has red hair and he looks like a simp. Neglect two. Oh, that's not good. That's not good news. Okay, one, two, three. Disciplined, yeah, we'll see. Triplets. Okay, we have another boy. Okay, we'll see. Oh, and remove disappointment. Smart. Three boys. We, we've had three boys before. Finally neglect two. Yeah, we have been waiting. Okay, I'm just gonna spin again because we didn't get a girl. One, two. Oh, I should, I should remove neglect two as well. Okay, one, two, three. Abstinence. I was like, I can't even tell. It's like right on the line. Abstinence. Oh no, we have a boy named Abstinence. Okay, so let's 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 add that. Is it quadruplets? One, two, three. Hates outdoors. It is. It's quadruplet boys. Oh my god. Oh. My goodness. Of course. I jinxed it. I knew that we were going to have triplets. Okay. Oh, sorry, quadruplets. Okay. Let's just not have quadruplets back to back. Okay. One. Two. Three. Issues. Great. This is an interesting set of quadruplets. We didn't get smelly or stinky. I'm gonna try and remember those for the last wheel. Issues. One, two, three. Issues is grumpy and excitable, I bet. Okay. I'm gonna move the wheel before I forget. And I'm gonna close the wheel because I don't think we're gonna give birth again today. Oh, hype in the chat for the quadruplets. Yay, we get to see me suffer. <laughs> <clears throat> at least she went in the motive mobile. She's not going home in it, but at least she went to she went to the hospital in it, so she's feeling pretty good. She can probably take care of the kids. And actually so can Cemetery, because Cemetery knows how to manage her needs. I was waiting for that fifth baby. I don't think I can, I um, I don't think quintuplets is enabled in my game. Not one girl, nope. And guess what? Which one is this? Disappointment gets a pink crib. Disappointment. Disappointment. Oh, they're the disappointment. <laughs> That's like, that, that can be their group name. Anyone who walks in here and isn't in on the joke is just going to be horrified, honestly. The way I see it is that 
when you do episode one of an LP, that's when you want to be really inviting to new people. Like you want to make it like very digestible, somewhat familiar. Like we're starting the hundred baby challenge. Here's my hundred baby starter home. Like everyone's going to love that, right? But then as you move through an LP, you stick with your inside jokes. Most people who watch your like episode 20 have already watched the first 19. So like we can all, you know, like we we can just say it for what it is. We know what's going on. We are gender biased. We are problematic. We are Amber Lynn and we had just had quadruplets. I think this is her first set of quadruplets. Oh, the cat is here. We don't have, we literally just gave birth. I don't have time for this. Carrying issues. One, two, three, four. Okay, they're all... Uh, I'm gonna have to, like, close off this room. Okay, I'm gonna save as... We are problematic. Like, like, like the fun version of problematic. Oh, another way I like to get out my toxicity, which is probably worse than yelling at bathrooms, is, like... I'll play like a Roblox game, like what's it called, the eviction notice. And like, I'll be in with a couple people I know and like, we will be so toxic to each other. Like we'll just, and people are like, guys, stop fighting. It's just a game. And we're like, burn in hell. Like, <laughs> and like we get eliminated and it's like, I will not forget this. And then we're sitting there at the judge. And then like we actually sabotage each other to lose. So sometimes it's some like, it's probably some like 10 year old girl on her iPad, right? And she's like in the top three of this, of the, of, of this problematic game. And like, we're just trying to destroy each other. And then like, she'll win. So I'm like, at least she gets to win. But sometimes we win. It depends if they like us or not. <laughs> I like doing that in 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 MSP. Yeah, like for some games it's good. For like for like more long-term games like a like like an MMO like World of Warcraft, just be nice cuz you never cuz you might need that person's help even in 6 months. Like I've had people ask me for something in World of Warcraft and like I have an enemies list. I keep it's so passive aggressive, but I keep an enemies list and I just like scroll down and I'm like, hmm, I remember you. In November, you stole those two mobs from me and then called me a gay slur. And I play a hardcore version, so if your character dies, it dies forever. And I'm a healer, so I so like it's like it's kind of like my my no heal list. These straight men haven't gotten a taste of gay bitchiness. They have no idea. They wouldn't. They would never think that far ahead. And here I am planning to ruin them. <laughs> forgive and forget? No, remember and hate. Why should I forgive? They're not sorry. <laughs> remember and hate would be great names. Hatelin instead of Caitlin. Just Hatelin. Gay MMO healers unite. I'm always a tank or a healer. I just don't find DPS fun. I would rather be like important, you know, important in the group. Amber Lynn and Hate Lynn. One of my World of Warcraft characters is named Wipey after Amber Lynn's girlfriend. I'm sad to say. Okay, I think everything's in good order. The babies have their needs met. Okay, they're hungry, but they're at school, so I don't really care. So I'm gonna save, and we're gonna leave it at this. Because the babies are home, they're doing well. Amberlyn's motives are fine, needs are fine. Cemetery's doing pretty good. She's working harder, even though she has lower needs. So that's fine. One last save. If you have another girl, could you name her Karen? I don't want Karen as my heir. I could probably do good good clickbait and thumbnails with that though. That's not a bad idea. 
I just don't know if I want it. Maybe I'll feel differently later. Okay. Let's see what we can do. There we go. Hi, I'm back. I'll um I'll definitely get Kyle for the end of the stream too. So we can see Kyle on the big screen. Well, that was very interesting. I hope everyone had a good time tonight. I had a blast. I'm so glad that we actually had babies. I wasn't expecting the death, but we're catching back up quick because we're definitely over 30 babies at this point. That might, we might be at 33, 33 or 34, depending on if we count the dead one. But in either case, we are a third of the way done the 100 baby challenge. So we are, we're on track. I'm, 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 I'm so excited because the thing is, with again with an with an LP you either get one or two generations in or you finish it like so that so I'm so I'm hoping that we keep the momentum going and like I said I'll be the first simmer in history to complete an LP yay <laughs> well I don't know about I don't know about that but I do know that the hundred baby challenge has been completed by a handful of people and I don't know if anyone's done it in the Sims 3 if anyone has let me know about that because I'm kind of just going into this blind I just do what I do and I would rather and like now that I've got my own style to it I'm comfortable exploring what other people have done before so that way maybe I just get like a new idea or something so the next generation can be a little bit more interesting or even someone who didn't complete the challenge, if they have like a generation one happening, then that then that might not be the worst thing to see. Amazing as usual, shame we didn't get a girl, but the disappointments will do us proud. We could still have a girl, it could still be pick me being the next gen. If I have another set of four boys, I will take that as a sign. And that'll be, that'll be that. This was a fun stream. Enjoyed your company while I cleaned and I'm nearly and I'm nearly done. I'm glad you got it all done. I have to make dinner. I'm not sure what I'm going to have, but I have I I got groceries. So I have several options of things that shouldn't take me too long to make. I make Basically, Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays, I make a nicer dinner. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I make a quick meal because I'm doing my stream. And then on the weekend, one day is a nice cooked meal and the other day is takeout i've been doing takeout like once a week and i'm like that's that's a lot for me i don't get it every weekend but it's been like the last two weekends which is be, seems to be becoming a bit of a habit but and i'm trying to get down to my birth weight so i don't know if that's gonna happen but we'll have to wait and see but anyway this is a rakowski stream not an amberlynn reed video so we're not gonna worry too much about that Oh, but the clickbait titles would be hilarious for pick me as pick me as the air <laughs> sims pick me <laughs> like, people are gonna be like is that about me Kryusa says zero lag this is not sims 3 it is the sims 3 you just have to do a bunch of things to get it to run like this but I don't think I have enough time left in the stream to go through it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the stream. Don't forget to hit the like button on your way out and check to see if you're subscribed so that way you don't miss the next one. I don't like saying this because I would never I would never enable a no notifications for YouTube. But if you have notifications enabled and you do find yourself coming late to the stream, then maybe enable the notifications too because I always post the stream and make it all public about 15 minutes before we go live so it's not like bam I'm live it's like okay he's going live shortly go to the bathroom grab a snack and grab a drink because it's time for the Rakowski show ha <laughs> ha anyway I'm clearly losing my marbles so I'm gonna have to have some dinner and we're gonna have to wrap this up but thank you so much cats and witchcraft thank you star stuff thank you Jonathan 
Thank you, Apollo. Thank you, Southern Ladybug. Thank you, Boba. Thank you, Ranica, for coming. Ranika. Thanks, Chris. Good to see you again. Glad to see you back. Maloney, Dernhelm, Candy Queen, Fido Mom, Kreyus. Uh, so good to see you. Do let me know if you want to start making that world. We're thinking of working on a Sims 2 neighborhood. So we'll have to wait and see how that goes. And it's going to be tea. <laughs> it's going to be about real people. So Apollo, him, Sims 3 girly. Thank you so much for coming. I love each and every one of you. Natalie, we'll see you later too. Okay. Mm -hmm. We will see you all on Thursday. Bye, everybody.